Hello everyone and welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 and Wise video tutorial series. In previous video we executed our first events by Blueprints and CPP individually. I was planning to release a video about switches that time and footsteps, but I want to cover something I missed at the latest video and it will be 3D sound. Also I want to show you how to debug Wise projects via Profiler. In this video I created a couple events for environment sounds that we can interact in 3D space and planted them inside the project. There will be two environment sounds for this tutorial, one for Torch and another one for the Buddha statue there. Let's start with Wise. Creating an event and sound effects is straightforward and usually couple clicks. You can create an effects under Actor Mixer, then drop a sound file inside. Also, I rather clip it by source editor most of the time because small adjustments make it better. When you finish designing the sound, attach that to an event and generate the sound bank. We will go back and forth between Unreal Engine and Wise projects at this video, so it might be a bit tangled. In the Unreal Engine project, Buddha statues are not blueprint but static mesh actors. You can simply turn them into blueprints to work more specific things on it. For our case, it's just posting an AK event. I don't repeat CPP version of posting events at this video, you can check my previous one for that. Because this usage will be much more easier and it will be triggered immediately. Meditation sound is also playing and hearable, but as I promised at the start of the video, I will turn these events to the 3D space, so it has certain area to be heard and out of the boundaries there won't be any sound to hear by that source. We will adapt the setting in Wise project. Find the sound effects file you want to turn into 3D sound, go to positioning tab and enable listener relative routing. Choose position and orientation in 3D specialization, then more importantly go to attenuation, choose custom, then edit. You will see some aspects of this effect. For this basic usage I'll adapt the range of hearability by output bus volume and the last thing I'm changing which is probably the most important at these steps, max distance value. Max distance value depends on your game engine and your game design. It might be a bit trial and error phases for that, just follow the steps I'm going.
You can see an orange sphere at the bottom of stage 2, which is our 3D space for the meditation sound. I gave 200 units in Y's project, but it's definitely not enough to try or hear. So I'll increase the distance for more approachable measures. Right now it seems good to go. In gameplay when the character approaches the statue, it will start hearing the meditation sound. But there is something else we need to cover or observe. Which is where is the listener? As you can see the character went into the sphere and can't hear. But when I start moving the camera, it becomes hearable time to time. The reason of this is the camera has a listener object. So instead of the character itself, the camera is the main listener of this project. We will override this ability to give it to the another character which is our main character. In character blueprint, get the player controller of the map and call set audio listener override. This blueprint node takes location and rotation values to move or override the listener. Because of the character moving all the time, we also need to update the listener's position. So we call event tick to activate this node. Now, let's repeat the meditation effect steps for Torch. Nothing really extra to do, just adding more character to the scene. Also don't forget that AK component of the Torch blueprint as we did at Buddha's statue.
preached several times, and they really have an incredible frequency response, and they have a range about six miles to round it off. So everything that you see in this recording is resonant with the six mile radius of the place where I was recording. Let's try it and play the scene. While I'm walking around the statue, whenever I turn around the character, something weird happening and blocks the sound. It is because of occlusion settings. It is usually got the have by the project, but it requires some adjustments to make it better than this. But for now, I'll just avoid the occlusion by changing the value inside the blueprints as you can follow. Both fire and meditation sounds working well in 3D, but I want to update one more thing we have done before. We update the listener every time but there is much better version to do this. Instead of sending rotation and location values, just attach the listener to a component. The component is the mesh of the character. For advanced usage you can also attach to the exact location or bone of the character, like head. But so far it's decent to go with this simple approach. Also, it is still up to you, either you can use camera as the center or the character itself. Now I will show you how to debug Vice projects by profiling. Open the Vice project and choose Profiler on Layout. There is a small button you can connect to your project. Click that and choose Available Projects the Profile. When you click Connect, it will start capturing every sound coming through Vice project. Let's play with the character around a bit to observe live data feed.
As you can see, there are actually many more sounds going on, but we don't hear. Unheard sounds still use CPU and lesser CPU usage is better for us. The problem is, we attached 5 sounds to the torch blueprint and there are many torches scattered in the map. Simply we can deactivate them by hand and activate when we come nearby, but it is another day's problem to solve. Alright, that's it for today. We managed to convert 2D sounds to 3D space, experienced how occlusion and distance based hearing works, and stepped into profiling our project. Profiling is a very crucial aspect to learn for wise projects, that you might catch your bugs early in time instead of looking elsewhere to solve problems. Thanks for joining me, you can find my links below also the github page of this project, feel free to ask anything about wise and unreal and have a good day.